Me New too. research shines a light this morning on the gender gap in heart care. Heart disease is the number one cause of death in women. It affects more than six million women every year. Recent studies from the American Heart Association show how women's symptoms are often overlooked or misunderstood. Our Dr. Tara Narula is a cardiologist at Lenox Hills Hospital. She's also a national spokesperson for the American Heart Association. Tara, good morning. Good morning. All right, so why do women fare worse? Right. So since 1984, the annual mortality for cardiovascular disease from women has outpaced men. And we know that women do worse after their first heart attack. They have longer hospitalizations, more readmissions, and more complications. Why? Women in heart disease has been understudied, underdiagnosed, and undertreated. There are multiple reasons for this. One of the reasons is age. Women tend to have their cardiovascular events at older ages. Another What's reason, older, Tara? What's older, older means around 70. 70 yeah, okay. as opposed to men, which are, happens in their 60s. Okay. Uh, risk factor profiles are different. So women have more risk factors like hypertension. They also have risk factors that are more potent for them, like tobacco, diabetes, depression, and psychosocial risk factors. In addition, their presentation, as you mentioned, can be different. They can have atypical symptoms that can be misdiagnosed. And treatment has been different, either not tailored specifically to women or they're not receiving the appropriate guidelines. So that's the treatment. question, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I mean, does treatment and the fact that there is somehow not as seriously taken in terms of recognition? There is an attitude problem and a biology yeah, problem. Exactly. And so, you know, the Go Red for Women movement was established in 2004 to increase awareness. And it's done really well, but still only 55% of women realize that cardiac disease is their biggest health threat. Mm -hmm. And so a lot of women, they don't recognize the symptoms, or if they do have the symptoms, they blow them off. They don't prioritize themselves. I don't have time to go to the doctor, I have to pick up yes. my kids, or I have to yes. go to work or they're afraid or they're embarrassed. Then there's a biology issue. We're learning that the biology of women's heart disease may be very different from men in terms of how they have their heart attacks, the mechanisms of their right. blood vessel dysfunction. And we, let's not uh, forget the uh, healthcare practitioners and mm -hmm. doctors who are also to blame here in part for misdiagnosing patients in, in women, heart disease in women, and for not as often sending them for diagnostic evaluation, not giving them the guideline-related treatment. So we have a ways to go. So other than raising awareness, what else can we do other than Right. So women Telling can, people. Women can do a lot. 80% of this is preventable. One of right. the things the AHA mm -hmm. is promoting is a well-woman visit. This is the idea that you go as a woman to see an internist, an OB guide, and talk about your health history, your family history, your risk factors before you ever get to the point mm -hmm. where you have a problem. Mm -hmm. You should know your family history. Everybody uh, should do that, shouldn't they? Exactly, but specifically for okay. women, yeah. yes. <laughs> Most people wait till they have a problem to they say do, help. Yeah. 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 Thank Thank you. Yeah. Thank you I They do, unfortunately. I plead guilty. I plead guilty, too. Yeah.